This is the Italian front. Commentator says the bridgehead of Nettuno is continually reduced by the German troops. Numerous prisoners are taken and the wounded prisoners are treated. As more American prisoners are taken, there seems to be developing the same treatment accorded prisoners in the newsreels all through the Polish, Western and Russian campaigns. First there are large collected groups, then close-ups carefully chosen to show the captured as a distinctly inferior soldier and man. The commentator says a great aerial battle took place in the area of the bridgehead. The wreckage which we come across everywhere shows that the enemy bombers were shot to pieces by the German fighters. A group of parachutists prepare for an attack. The machine gun fire protects the advancing groups. A metralhadora protege os grupos avançantes. German artillery sets up a heavy fire against the bridgehead. This is Marshal Kesselring at the front. Commandante in chef de frente d'Italia, Marechal General Kesselring. The heaviest artillery transported by rail during the attack on Anzio. These railroad guns have been shown often, but they appear here to really be in use in this action. observado pelo telescópio militar. The commentator titles this, Defense Against the Anglo-American Air Offensive. He says the planes of the German fighter and destroyer squadrons are always on the alert. After the approach of enemy squadrons is announced, and the Focke Wolf 190s and Messerschmitt 109Fs take off, the commentator says, during one week of the Anglo-American aerial offensive over German territory, over 600 enemy bombers, mostly four motored bombers, were destroyed. He continues, the German formations attack from the left of the bomber. Straggling fortresses and a liberator are the main targets. Commentator says, above the clouds at an altitude of between 16,000 and 23,000 feet, the German squadrons die from all sides upon a new target. Sobre as nuvens, numa altura entre 5 a 7 mil metros, as unidades alemãs atiram-se de todos os lados sobre uma nova esquadrilha inimiga. A primeira vitória aérea de um jovem piloto alemão. This young German pilot, the commentator says, has had his first victory. The remains of a four-motor bomber are scattered over hundreds of yards. 
de escombros de um bombardeiro quadrimotor espalhado sobre... He says this plane made a forced landing. It's explained that in the meantime snow fell, but that did not affect the defense set up by the German squadrons. Destruidores alemães levantam voo em formações cerradas. Aqui está o inimigo. Também este bombardeiro acaba em chamas. <risos> 